two. And it's JBM with 32 points and 11 assists, his double-double in game number two. Dayfry with 21 points and 15 rebounds. Just awkward, rounds out the top three with 13. On the side of the Raptors, Kenny got work with 17, Type with 10. TS Josh with eight points. Let's take a look back at game one highlights, which was a win in favor of WizDG. Final score of that was 69-53. And of course, Chalk mentioned it on the NBA 2K League podcast for the Nets going into last night's matchup. It's that JBM Day Fry connection that no one in the league seems to be able to stop it's on full display here today against the Raptors as well. Day Fry can score down low, but can also get the block along the baseline, really helping limit the Raptors' chances. And JBM has the vision all over the court and will call his own number, sinking a deep three from the left hash. They're late in the second quarter. JBM to Dayfry is a known combination, but how about Beerich to Dayfry? Double guard action finding Dayfry. Again, JBM will take whatever Toronto gave him, deep threes included. Again, this Raptors team leads the league in turnovers. They were a plenty in this series as well. Beerich was able to reap those fast break points as a result. B. Rich was getting involved. JBM didn't want to get left out either. JBM picking up some fast break points as well. That JBM Day Fry connection again is just absolutely lethal. Again, the turnovers really did the Raptors in in game one and definitely in game two. Really limiting their offensive chances in B. Rich. I mean, again. Inserted into this starting lineup in game two last week against the Warriors is making the most of every opportunity he has 19 points in the first game. It's new season high. In the outlet pass from Dayfry after another rebound. Cleaning up the glass. Dayfry an absolute beast. Makes the block as well. And coming off of that 19 point performance. Now joined by Brandon Richardson, a.k.a. B-Rich, of the now uh, what 2-0 over the Raptors, 4-0 over the Raptors in Season 4 so far. It's the perfect week. B-Rich, how are you feeling after that uh, perfect week? And I am now being told it is official. That is a career-high 19 points you had in game number one. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm feeling great, man. Um, I'm ready to get home, celebrate with the team. It's been a great week. We're ready for the weekend. Um Ready to get to work, though. We got Grizzlies next week. Absolutely. So, you know, walk me through it a little bit for everyone watching at home. You know, you get inserted into the lineup here last week against the Warriors, uh, and you're coming into a position uh, that's kind of an off position for you. Nudini gets uh, flexed down to the four spot, and every game your point total continues to grow and grow. You're starting to get comfortable with this new position, aren't you? Oh, Jack makes it so easy for me, man. E easily. Uh, he's so easy to play with. But first, I want to, you know, shout out Pat. You know, I know he's watching. Hope everything's going good with him and Katie on the baby. You know, we took care of business for you, Coach. You know, can't wait for you to have you back. Absolutely. And uh, head coach Pat Crossan, again, a big congratulations on the birth of your brand new baby daughter, your first child, too. That's really awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, he'll be back next week. So so don't get too comfortable with Andrew there as the interim coach. Uh, who, oh, yeah. Andrew's 4-0, oh, you know. Andrew's 4-0. Hey, he's, oh. he's up there for coach of the year, too, man. Absolutely. His name should definitely be in the discussion there for coach of the year. That sure. is a perfect record. So, so B rich, uh, talk to me a little bit about this team's mentality going in. You guys have a chance to do something. No other team in the two K league has been able to do. And that's go back to back. There's a big target on your guys's back. You've mentioned it multiple times on social media and here on the post game show. How are you guys handling that pressure? We understand it's a, it's a marathon, not a sprint. You know, every week we come in with a game plan and we execute, man. It's, I feel like, Every week we know what to do, and if we do it, hey, success is all, all, all that leads to. All right, so I do have to ask you your guys' secret here. So, so I play a little NBA 2K league in my free – a little NBA 2K, pardon me, in my free time. Yeah. How in the world do you guys limit some of the best scores in the league to below their season average week in and week out? Again, Kenny got work. 
Last year's regular season MVP, you guys held him well below 20 points in both games. Man, if you could see some of the film sessions, you would you would understand it all, man. Just Awkward is literally eating, sweating, everything film. He knows what every move every guard's going to do, and I just want to shout out to him tonight. He played excellent. Him and Ryan, they're the best duo on defense, man. And Dini's back at the four, championship Dini. I like where the, I like where we're going. We're hitting our stride. Absolutely. B. Rich, thank you so much for joining us here on the Post Game Show. Congratulations on the perfect 4-0 week four, and we look forward to seeing you guys take on Grizz Gaming next week. Thank you, guys. All right, on the other side of the break, interim coach Andrew McNeil will be joining us. Stay tuned here on the WizDG Post Game Show presented by National Landing. Welcome back to the WizDG post game show presented by National Landing. WizDG take the 2 0 series sweep over Raptors Uprising with a 76 44 final score in game two. Closes out the perfect week in week four. We are now joined by the director of esports for Monumental Sports and Entertainment and interim head coach who is currently 4 and 0. Oh, I will put your name in for coach of the year consideration. It is Andrew McNeil. Andrew, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, first, I have to ask you, personal accolades here, you're 4-0. How are you feeling, coach? I, I mean, can't feel bad about 4-0, right? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. I mean, I think we were talking before the game, you know, we went 2-0 last night, and then uh, uh, Coach Pat and his wife, Katie, had a baby, so we count that as a win. And so we were trying to go 5-0 this week, and I think we did it, so pretty excited. Yeah, absolutely. So... I do have to ask you this question, you know, going into every match of the, your last three series uh, tonight, you had Kenny got work again, an amazing player last year's MVP in the regular season. Last night you had chalk who has scored the most points in the season so far. And before that you had CB 13, but you've been able to hold them defensively to under their season average in each of these games. What's the secret in holding these high scoring players and, and really just, shoving that defense right right to them and, and just holding them scoreless almost yeah you know i don't think it's much of a secret so much as it's just uh, it's just the way we play you know we've got um you know dave fry is probably one of the smartest players i've ever encountered i mean he, he knows what the other teams are doing probably before half the other you know team, other teams know what they're doing um he's calling out exactly what's going to happen before it does i mean that he should have been defensive player of the year last year. Uh, unfortunately, he wasn't, but uh, he, you know he's he's a brilliant defensive player, and he really anchors that defense for us. And in in just awkward Justin, he's you know one of the best perimeter defenders, uh, one of the best locks, as they say, uh, in, in the game. And so, you know, we've got that inside out presence on the defensive end. Um, it it uh, it makes us a form formidable defensive team, and it makes it hard for some of those top point guards. And, and the other piece too is our offense. You know, we, JBM it controls the pace uh, better than anyone in the league at the point guard position. And when we execute really well, we don't give teams a lot of opportunities to get out in transition and to get easy buckets and and I think that discipline and that focus is, is why we're such a good defensive team. Yeah, you mentioned just awkward. You know, he, he came into the seat into the league last year in, in season three, the championship year, obviously. But not a lot of people knew who he was. I asked uh, head coach Pat Crossan about this uh, last year in season three and in the offseason. He really made a name for himself as a strong defensive player as well. You team him up with Day Fry, like you said who's strong on defense and an amazing rebounder where well, he had 15 rebounds in game two really was the difference here uh, in game two. I believe it was 12 turnovers that the Raptors committed in game two forced by that strong defense. So you guys have to be doing something right, right on the defensive end. Yeah. I mean, I think, I, I mean, we, we sort of make, make our bones on defense. I mean, I think we know that's how we're going to win. That's how we won the championship last year. That's how we beat the Raptors in the playoffs last year. That's how we, um, how we're going to be successful this season is the defense. And, and you know, I'd say probably, you know, the meta this year uh, is probably a little bit tougher to be a, a really good defensive team. I think I think the meta this year favors the offensive players a little bit more than last year. Um, and so I think the more strides that we can take on the defensive end, the more that we can kind of separate ourselves from from the rest of the league this season. Absolutely. So let's go ahead and look forward to next week. WizDG will be taking on Grizz Gaming on June 25th. Um, well, first I have to ask you, are you ready to relinquish the coaching reins back to Pat next week? And if not, what's your game plan going into next week? <laughs> I, you know, if I have to, if I have to step aside, um, 
you know, I'll do that. I, I feel like my winning percentage speaks for itself at this point, but, <laughs> but if, if Pat needs to come back and, and, and take over, I, I will happily step, step aside from them. Uh, but, you know, I think our, uh, you know, the, the, the Grizzlies are having a really good season this year. Um, Vandy's playing out of his mind. I think he's going to be, he's going to be, you know, he's another name on that list of players that you mentioned before that we're going to have to stop. And so I think, you know, I, I think the way we're playing right now defensively, uh, I think we're, we're in good shape too. Uh, but, you know, it's definitely going to be a, a night where we're going to ha really have to prove ourselves. And, you know, I think, you know, we came into this week five and three, leaving at nine and three, um, w which is awesome. And I think, I think uh, you know, if we can do another 2-0 oh next week, I think we can really kind of uh, you know, establish ourselves going into the, the second half of the season. Absolutely. And who knows, maybe head coach Pat Cross needs an extra night or two of sleep. As we all know, newborns <laughs> tend to keep you up quite late sometimes. Uh, so Andrew, McNeil, okay. here. Yeah. Andrew <laughs> McNeil, thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations on the perfect week four and O oh, off to an amazing start here in season four. And we look forward to seeing the team next week against the Grizz. Absolutely. Thanks, John. Yeah. All right. So Wiz DG complete the week four sweep two O oh over the nets and two O oh tonight against Raptors uprising. Their hot start continues on their quest to go back to back in the NBA 2K league. That's going to do it all for, all for us tonight here on the Brad, broadcast. The next upcoming game, June 25th versus Grizz Game. That's a 7 p.m. Eastern time tip. You can see that here on the Monumental Sports Network and NBC Sports Washington. And that will do it for us here inside the William Hill Sportsbook until the 25th. Have a great weekend.